All right, I'm gonna play better here. I hope. All right, Umbra Classic, Hellhorn Classic. We got Dagger Boy. Dagger Boy is pretty good, in my opinion. Double Exploder, but we've got vents um, and torches, of course, so not too bad. The Easy Fell and Seraph the Patient. So we'll just be on the lookout for Seraph the Patient counters, essentially. Everything else doesn't look particularly too hard. It's been a long time since it. I feel like Wrathful is becoming like Soulguard Cold Channel for me. I just like cannot find it, but I guess I'll go Reaper. I really don't like starting Brawler, unless I have like two rituals, I guess, but I don't. So, we could just do this. I mean, that's both of those, in my opinion, are early game artifacts, but one is severely better than the other. Yeah, you take this artifact, you take every trial. Especially against the easiest mob. We'll eventually find something for you there. Let's do this. Feed him up. Extra health is actually pretty legit. Just in case I don't find another one. Boo. Alright, so we'll get the sleigh there. I should let him get the sleigh, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Easy enough. Let's, uh, advance prototype for you. That's a counter to Seraph. I like Space Prism here. Even though we can overstack our floors, it's still nice, I think. Hmm. How are we gonna swing this? Like, are we doing Umbra units? Because Umbra units need the gorge, but then I need, like, so, so, am I not overstacking, I guess is the question. Is, is Hidden Passage only there to essentially deal with a patient? That could be an option. I don't like Alpha Fiend or Demon Fiend, really, if I can avoid it. But we also don't have... Man, seriously? No Umbra till then? Oh, man, that's weak. Might have to take Alpha Fiend. Unfortunately. That is so weak. I mean, I guess the train stewards are better than Alpha Fiend, technically, actually. You know what? I'm just gonna take a Morsel Master. I'll feed my champ. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, let's just go... I could upgrade some stewards. What do I want to do here? I have a Merchant of Steel there. Maybe I hit this Merchant of Magic up then, since it has gold with it. I think I'm good with that. If I find Holdover on Hidden Passage, I'll just snag it now. I could do this. But I think... I don't know if, I'll, I, don't know if I want to do that. Let's get this down. I got a reroll for Holdover. Okay, Permafrost. I don't know about Permafrost. I could do it on Inferno. I'd rather just hold that gold. We could do 10 here. And just get it down to 1, I think. I think I want to have some gold for next turn. Plus, I don't have any huge, like, high priority purges, because these stewards are really good, and so are torches, and shade splitters kinda are, too. Since I have a Morsel Master. Pip fucked up there. It doesn't really matter, though, if I want a frontline here. I think I do want a frontline with him. 
Well, let's see what we get from this first. If I get health, I can front line with him. Yeah, let's do that. And in the meantime, let's just feed you. I don't know, damage that or something. There's no real sense extending space here. I could just extend space here. Just slay, that'll be nice. Nice, we kill both then. Oh, might as well chump block if that's what it's gonna give us. You're dead. Yeah, three of these on the floor. Not gonna get me. That's why we take Space Prism. I wouldn't be opposed to a Welder Helper. Do I need it though? It'd be kind of awkward to get this thing off, I feel. I could always torch him though. Let's take him. Perils. Prismal Dust. Perils would be nice to open up the Ember Drain game plan. I mean, another counter to Seraph is simply Damage Shield, though I don't think Prismal Dust is the best counter. Like, I would much rather have, like, Grovel or Void Binding. Void Binding, ideally, with Perils would be amazing. The thing about Prismal Dust is I would absolutely need to consume Stone on it, and even then, it's not like. I'd have to pour upgrades into it just for it to be, like, almost usable, or I could just put Holdover and Hidden Passage, and that might be good enough. I think Perils is good here. Branded Warrior? I don't think so. I don't think that's better than my Train Stewards. Even Morsel Maker. That's, like, the last Umbra I want offered. I want something I can actually gorge, you know? But whatever. This might just be a Train Steward run. Upgrade these, I think. Upgrade these train stewards. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take a look at what we got. Endless. Let's take a look here. Hmm. Would I want a wild wood sap? I guess so. So, let's just upgrade, like, all of these things. Let's even put, like, Rage, like, whatever. Could've put Endless on Welder Helper, but, man, I don't know if I'm feeling that as much. I'm gonna upgrade... Yeah, I might as well spread the upgrades around, I think. I could hold out for one of them to be, like, pretty beefy, but, yeah, whatever. Like large stone would be pretty good on him. Okay, we torch that. I could shard prison, or I could space prison this floor so that I get more, even more morsels. That's not entirely out of the question. Oh, I know where that's going. Easy. No morsels yet. That's kind of shit. Uh, let's bring one of them up. I'll just get the slay now. Nice. Let's do this. And... I guess you're dying? How about not? How about not? Let's do this. Do need to get some health on a uh, state. <laughs> okay, we can do this. Let's see what we get here. All right, we'll do torch that. Get some health and some damage shield. 
and sack that, but I'll wait for those to come back. They're pretty good. Come on, vent. Nice. Alright, let's do this. That. 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 That's good. So we had them down here. <laughs> Forgot how powerful they are. Dark Deal seems pretty good. Then again, so does Blazing Bolts. We gotta do Dark Deal over it, though. Well, this could be something we feed. I'd have to take Pip at this point, because if I want Alloy, Morsel, and my champ, that's already five. I need an extra pip so I can feed him. I'd only to get him two feel a turn, though. I don't know if Alloy is really the one I'd be looking for. I'd be looking more for like a Crucible, Warden, or Collector. I think these are skips. I think at any rate I do take pip, though. Then maybe draw a second? I don't know. I'm gonna try for the Umber Banner here, I think. Would I rather hold out for Brawler at this point, or could I just do Wrathful? I feel like I would just keep going Reaper here. Alright, we got the Rope of the Warden. I'll take that. So we can do our plan then. Reaper in back. Warden in front, Morsel Master feeding twice a turn. That's pretty good against Patient. Um, then we don't necessarily... I, I think we're pretty good with that. That's that's like a pretty good setup. What do we start removing though? Like... Torches, I guess? I guess Torch makes sense. Hellvent Pack Morsel or Space Prism, maybe? What about Space Prism? If I could get extra morsels, all the better. Spikes is rough. That pretty much kills my champ. I can finagle it, I think. So... If I could get a Welder Helper on him and then bring him up, then I'm good. Until then, though, we'll just set up here. Let's try to get some damage in here. Turn to find Welder Helper. Got it. Not too bad.
And then I'll just head and pass a chim up, and we'll be good. And I can even have the option to like do this here. Let's give you damage. Should do this here actually then. stand to do that probably That's all she wrote. So, against Patient, we'd have to do that on the bottom floor. That could... I really want Brawler then. I'll, I'll go Wrathful for the final upgrade if I don't find Brawler, just because I do need, like, some initial health. Even then, it's not surviving a Shade Wing, though, so... I don't know. We'll see. I guess we can take this. So, I usually fuck this artifact up, but I should just get better at the game and like not do that. This is actually really good too. Against Patient. That would be my holdover target over Hidden Passage, I think. Do I want a Crucible extension on top of all this? I think Excavation Eruption makes more sense. Unit upgrades. I saying though, I don't need to play Hornbreaker Prince on the bottom because I only need to do that because of spikes. So I can just play him. I think middle floor is actually pretty doable. So should I be going for the hunt on Holdover? The hunt for Holdover at this point? Because I don't have a Merchant of Magic. If I don't find... it's I'm not like finding any... I don't need unit upgrades, let's put it that way. These things are good though, but... You know what, I need, I need to find Holdover, just fuck it, I need to find it. So we gotta hunt hard for it. Endless? I think I'd rather get this. I could put Endless though on a... a damage shield morsel if I find one. And then I'm getting enough damage shield every turn, I think. But I think I could just do this on Reaper. I'll just, I'm at a I'm at a Merchant of Magic, so I can just I can already get it into play, so that's pretty nice. I won't double stack it though. I don't even know if I'm feeling that on anything. I could do it here. I could remove I could start removing stewards too. They're they're not always gonna be useful. I could permafrost this. It gives me an out if I don't find you know what. Let's try that. And let's get this to a playable amount. And plus ten here. If I need to kill the single dude, that's a nice damage increase. This is unfortunately another one, just like the last one, where I'm gonna have to try to find Wilder Helper, or else he's just gonna die. So hopefully we can do that. If I don't find it, <laughs> we're hurting. Oh shit, god damn it. I've already fucked this up. Like, okay, we did find it. So that's good. Um, 
I didn't throw a hidden passageway. Okay, it's like I could do this now, or I could just block. I think I'm fine with that. Okay, we got that. That's good. I get this. Let's get damage, and I can bring this up to get it. I wonder what card I threw away. Just a steward, it looks like. No, no, no. It was a shade splitter. Alright, so let's do this here. Actually, glad I did that to the torch. Just saved my hide there. This dies to this, so we'll just do it here. Alright, that doesn't die to it. Oh, it does. God damn it. Hidden passage, where the fuck are you? gonna let him hit me. I mean, I guess I could kill him, but this guy would probably do more damage. Let's just try to get this damage in here, I think. Well, we got this finally. How unfortunate there, though. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess just do this. Nah. Don't even know what we do here. Just do this here, I guess. Save that damage shield. That's a damage shield. Those are all damage shields. Might as well just let him hit me. Could have also, like, tireless climbed, but it doesn't matter. Just for good measure. Alright, not too bad. We only took the one hit. We probably didn't even need to take that hit. If I would have just banked on getting Hidden Passage, which was pretty likely that following turn. Does March's Shields do anything for me? The deck's pretty fat as it is. Like, I don't think it does. I don't think it does anything for me. With any luck, all the sweepers should be behind us. What about Pyre Chomper? Probably not, right? Yeah, let's skip. Gem Trove. Maybe. If I'm hitting up Merchant of Magic. But right now it's useless. I think I got better stuff. I might take the er eruption though. Yeah, let's take the eruption. Really don't need these torches. I don't need that steward either. Let's get that steward gone. Let's get this torch gone. Hmm. 
Hold up that. That way if I miss, or I can just play it, I can play it twice, or I could skip one, play the other one. Like this, for example, can't really play this here. Pip fuck there, huh? I should have started with the frickin' excavation eruption. It's kind of dumb. Oh well. Don't, I actually could probably remove that sap as well. But yeah, whatever. There we go. See, it's all part of the plan to get the max amount of slays. It was uh, actually all intended. Let's see, 20, 30. I should kill this guy then. Because I wouldn't kill the backliner otherwise. Might as well just not play that. I think I'm still fine doing that just to get extra damage on Fell. Alright, so we can do that. This really doesn't do anything. I should just do this then, get it out of the deck. Can't do that. Um, should I sack a damage shield here? Sure. Just gets, I don't know if that rage really means anything because I'm getting all the slays here anyhow. I do this and this. Sure. That. That. Now I can fit two in. That's definitely happening. Boom, baby. Aw. You fucked me, Mask of Penumbra. You fucked me good. Here you can have that. I'll wait for that to come back, though. Anyway, might as well just do that. Get some extra damage. Oh, there is no extra damage. Well, never mind. Fell's dying, doesn't matter. Fell is definitely dying. Wouldn't be opposed to this. I think with the two excavation eruptions, I don't really need the blazing bolts, but Furnace Tap would give me another multi strike. I have the option to hold over perils, but I don't know that I would, because wouldn't I rather hold over Tiresome Climb? If I do that, is Furnace Tap worth it in that context? Like, it might be a dead weight most of the time. I take it anyway. Uh, Pip at this point I think is not outshining Draw or Ember. I think Draw though. Let's try to get that holdover on Hidden Ascension. Or Tyler's Climb I mean. Spike's pretty good. Better if you have Ember, but yeah, whatever. Okay, I could permafrost this. That is a way to kind of counter Furnace Tap. 
I'm fine with that. I'm fine doing that here. We know we want this down to one. Do I just double stack it? Like, it looks like this game just doesn't want to give me hold over this time. I mean, I do have the hell vent here. I'm probably going here. I should purge some cards. Those are cheap purges. I could double stack this, but then I really have to commit to perils. I don't think I spend any money on double stacks here. Like, Tyson Climb... If I can't find hold over on it, I'll just hell vent it at one. I think it's better there. I don't have the ember to be double stacking shit here. I'm just gonna remove that torch, I'm pretty sure. Let's make this less. I don't need the welder helper. Might as, man, that sucks we never got, uh, whatever you call it, but at this point we might as well just go full Reaper. We'll have a lot of ways to put multi-strike on him. Dude, th this has been a brutal fucking run for Hornbreaker, and now that we removed... Now that we removed fucking, uh, whatever you call it, I... I have to skip this trial. This fucking sucks, dude. I mean, literally, there's no way this is going to work. I'd have to, like... Yeah, there's no fucking way. Of course, I get punished for removing the helper. God damn it. I mean, even it, even now, though, I don't even know if I would trust putting my run on this trial, even with the help, welder helper in there. Right, we just can't take it. Like, all of our damage is put into our champ, so... And it fucking pit fucks on, us on the top, on top of all that shit. So I could bank on getting a space prism. I mean, this is a lot of motherfucking damage coming in. Bank, or I can get some of it out. But man, this is bullshit. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta feed him this turn, unfortunately. So let's just go in here. This is like so fucking unlucky. Like the worst possible trial. And the worst possible pip fuck at the top, and probably the worst mob other than maybe pyro wings. Pretty fucking trash. Oh, well, there's a space for some yay. Well, this is happening for sure, so yeah. No other questions about it, really. Just chump block with some morsels, I think. I think I can do this and then this. So this guy's not dying. How about we have you die then? What the fuck? Okay, let's do this. Yeah, he'll just clean them up, I guess, and... Fuck, I don't know. I could technically clean two of them up, so why don't I do this? Alright, this isn't too bad. We'll just do this and that. It's actually fine. No harm, no foul. Block. I'll just create this, see what it is. Yeah, you can get sacked to that guy. a 
shitty excavation eruption. There you go. <laughs> Don't think anything is going to be killing me. Come on up and die. Boom. God, this champ is strong. Why can't Rector why can't Rector Flicker be that good? Cave in. Don't really see how that's gonna be good. Unless I think I can do a flying kill. I don't think I can. That's like, yeah, I don't think, I don't think flying kills happen in here. Just the wind will be good enough. Deck's too fat as it is, I can't be adding a cave in. Plus it's the best card in the game, so you know, it just wouldn't be fair to be adding that. I think we gotta spend most of our money on removals? I could do conserve energy, maybe. I think I'm pretty much spending it every turn, though. I think we just need that holdover, right? Are you ever gonna give that holdover to me, brah? It'd be nice if you gave me that holdover, I'll be honest. Finally, of course, it has to be 120 on top of that, but that's pretty big. We've pretty much won now. And we can make... This cheaper, I guess? I don't know. Might as well consume that. Dark Beal actually is not very good in this deck, but too late to remove it now. As far as the Hellvent goes... Here? Might as well go for the flying kill. I'm pretty sure we're just good here, so... I don't think I get the flying kill, but... Maybe just try to give ourselves a shot at it. So middle floor is good. Really good we didn't get pipped and that they didn't come. This is actually the best situation I would say. So I'll give credit where credit due. That is some RNG that I like. Let's do this. All right, we got this on holdover. Let's actually bring you up first, so I don't have to double get double striked. All right, first things first, get the fuck off us, and second things second, all y'all die. Maybe I should have done that there. I'll do that here. And we'll do that for now. Hold that for later. Our first fucking morsel all fight, by the way. That's pretty fucking ridiculous. Well, at least we can just chunk block here, but my god, that is bullshit. Um... I'll do this, because then I I do want the space to actually play more souls. If I do this, he won't die, but, you know, two damage shield, then that guy finishes him. Fortunately, I'm f not be able to do this. Just fucking have that die then. Okay, let's do this. Let's 
Is that other space prism, yo? Alright, well, let's do this, because I do want to do this. I guess I'll just let these come back in. I'm having such trouble finding morsels that I won't have that one come back in. Okay, we got the space prism finally. Gonna have to do. Right, let's bring you up. Actually, I don't need to do that. Let's do this. This. So you're living, let's give you the both of those morsels in. Okay, nice. Now I'm finally stacking damage shield. It's a good thing we have the day stacking, because if I had to rely on just three waves of damage shield, that would not be good. Alright, we can definitely do this. I mean, I, I pretty much gave up on the uh, flying kill plan by still doing this. I'm just going for the win at this point. I think 22 by... F There's a chance I maybe could have got the flying kill if I had done the last two... T and no, there's no chance. There's no chance I could have got the flying kill. So I'm fine with all this. Just go for the win here. Like 760, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing enough damage a turn. Plus, it's like I'd be really cutting it close on the damage shields by having to take all those extra ones per turn. I'm fine with this. Okay, let's bring you up. Let's do this first. Yeah, let's bring you up, then vent. I can have this for the next turn if I need it. Yeah, let's just finish the job here. Die, bitch. Boom. 420, nice. Totally planned that. Alright, not too bad. There was a few definitely butt-clinching moments there with the uh, really low rolls on trials and sweepers and stuff, but luckily we found Welder Helper in time, so actually, I gotta be honest, this is a first, but Game Ball goes to somebody not, not in our final deck list today. Uh, it goes to Welder Helper. Because uh, you are the reason we were able to get through this. Um, actually, let's be honest. Hornbreaker Prince, you get the game ball. You just you were 100% of our damage. Uh, Warden, you did a good job holding the line, but the linemen never get the credit. It's always the quarterback, right? So, Hornbreaker, game ball goes to you. Train Stewards, you get an honorable mention. And uh, Dark Deal, you didn't do... You didn't do your normal stuff today, that's fine. We know you'll come back next next game, maybe next season. Um, and yeah, pretty good run. Uh, until next time, peace.